sad, man. See though. really standing out. Because okay, they're GameCube, I will pick them up. Always pick up GameCube games, £2.
Ah, uh, you're right. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank uh, thanks. You Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thanks. So, five pounds spent. Tiger Woods PGA Golf 2003. ISS2. Brilliant game. Uh, and then I couldn't leave Sandman behind from ED Dub. EC. ECW. For a pound. Thank you. 
restaurants subject to availability. At Boots, we're getting you primed for summer with better than Black Friday deals, like the all B IO Series 7 electric toothbrush, better than half price at £130, and Mark Jacobs got eau de parfum 50 mil, or £62, now only £31. So say hello to low, low prices Ooh. on hundreds of our products. Let's go summer. Boots, they'll get us new. All B was £400 off at ends 20th June. Free office online. Exclusions apply. Selected stores, delivery charges may apply. With 8K picture quality, you'll get 
We are dealing with some kind of a resignation or political pressure that should be brought to bear on independent prosecutorial decisions. It's not only bad politics, it's actually dangerous. Oh, sorry. Is it alright if I look at the two? Uh, thank you. Uh, no, the two dolls down here, please. Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's missing his hands, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. Is that one missing a hand as well? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a show. What does it say? Tom, 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 I didn't, I don't know, I didn't put them out, so, oh, no hands. <laughs> yeah. Need a bag, one, uh, no, it's okay, I'll put them in here. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. No, Much thank appreciated. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Did you receive? Oh yeah, cheers, thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated, thank you. Bye. 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 Little thing. Now, guys, not that I was being funny about the price. Uh, this one doesn't say he's missing a hand and obviously he is missing a hand. So, the Lone Ranger is actually missing a hand and he's a fiver. So I just wanted to see if they could do anything. Obviously, uh, I'm not too sure if these prices are good. So I just, Something in my head was just saying, go back and pick them up because I haven't picked up any toys. Uh, and you tend not to see this Lone Ranger kind of stuff. Guys, you have to let me know in the comments if that was a good deal for 12. Originally, they would have been 14. Uh, so she gave me two pound off. It was mainly because this guy's, I swear he's, yeah, he's missing a hand. And I don't know how easy these are to replace guys. I don't even know if there's a need for them missing items, but there's no boot sales. Uh, I've done all right with the GameCube game so far and the Sandman from ED Dub. Uh, so I thought I'm going to take a bit of a whim with these. Even the Lone Ranger, he ain't got his hat, he's missing two hands. Uh, but for 12 quid, I just don't see them. I'm guessing they're from the 70s as well. Oh, 73. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Welcome back to Scotch Comics and Collectibles. So, what I picked up from the charity shop. So you would have seen in uh, the live... Uh, the life footage anyway uh, two GameCube games now I'm not going to pass these up you just don't see GameCube games every day uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003 2 quid uh, International Superstar Soccer 2 I used to love this game again £2 uh, all complete so really happy to add those and then in terms of toy wise let's just open him up let him breathe uh one pound ECW, uh, one of the uh, WWF toy, w, w, WWE toys, sorry, uh, Sandman. So I think this is one of the older toys, but I haven't got a Sandman figure. And Jesus, this this fellow was a decent wrestler uh, all through ECW, and even when they had a little bit of the stunt during the Attitude Era uh, with. WWF, but yeah, look at the detail on there. It's pretty decent, so I picked that up for a quid. Uh, the other bits and pieces you would have seen. And again, guys, there's quite a few bits of charity shop bits and pieces. So I think the only other bit you would have seen in that video was these two that were sitting in, so they were sitting, it was a weird one. They were sitting in the bottom of a glass cabinet. Uh, they're priced up at nine pounds and five pound, I believe. Uh, yeah, so 14 pound for the pair. I ended up paying 12. Uh, and only because I did say to the lady, uh, I didn't realise one of them was missing, this one was missing a hand. Oh, it looks like something's happened to his hand there. Uh, bless him, it looks like someone's put a plaster on it. Uh, but yeah, pick these up. So these are the Lone Ranger from the uh, from 73. 
and I picked these up, £12 I paid for them. Don't know if that was worth the money. I'm more than certain for these kind of figures, you know, their necessities alone should go for that. Uh, but picked it up. I love this thing. I love this thing. Uh, but yeah, so that was on him like that, Tonto. Uh, so I've picked, picked that up. And then the Lone Ranger, he's not in the best of shape, but obviously I brought both of them together. Weren't too sure how easy it was to pick up the little hands and bits and pieces and if they just snap back on. But again, clothing seems to be there. He's missing two hands. Looks like a zombie. A little bit of a loose leg. Uh, but yeah, for £12 for the pair, uh, I thought the value is going to be in Tonto. Definitely, uh, given how much necessities he's got with him. But pick those up. Uh, I was happy with those. So yeah, that was it in terms of the live charity shop pickup. In terms of other bits and pieces I've picked up during the week, now I've got to start pulling bits and pieces out. Uh, so, let's go to the first one. It was quite a bit in this one. Uh, so I, I did go out over the weekend just looking to see what there was about and uh, yeah, stumbled across a few bits and pieces. So firstly, I paid £2 each for these, uh, which are a little bit, you know, they're a little bit more than what I usually pay. I usually pay about a quid. Uh, but yeah, don't really see DS games that often. Now they're getting harder to find, but two quid each. I picked up Nintendo Dogs, picked up Worms, uh, Harry Potter Lego, and then Crash. Is it Crash of the Titans? Crash of the Titans. And guys, with the amount of DSs I've got at the moment, I always say if I ever get onto like want to move them around, it's always good just to bundle them with games. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I picked those up. And then this little bundle here, I believe I paid. I think I paid three pounds for everything. So this was like one charity shot and they're like, look, uh, what have you got? I said that and they said three pounds. There's some desirable pieces here and more than likely I'm gonna keep most of this for myself anyway. Uh, but yes, God of War on the PlayStation. Uh, I didn't realize this had a really good uh, trading value as well. Uh, but yeah, interesting on that. Uh, pick this up in it, Iron Maiden, Flight 666. Uh, two discs, a little book. I think it looks quite cool, so I'll put that in there. Uh, leave those till the end because they all come together. And then Harry Potter. I always just pick these up when I see them, guys. But Harry Potter, Philosopher's Stone, and then Chambers of Secrets. Uh, yeah, just picked them up, hardbacks. And then the one I was quite stoked with, uh, you don't really see these box sets sitting around, Games of Throne. So Games of Throne 1 to 6 was there. Uh, interesting, all complete as well because I've gone through it. Uh, good trading value as well on that one. And then season seven was there. I was hunting everywhere for season eight, just wasn't there. So I need season eight to complete it, but yeah, almost got a Games of Throne. And no doubt if I get eight, I might try and shift the whole lot together uh, or keep it, I'm not too sure yet. And I'll come on to why in a minute. That was from my boot sale midweek. I have had some uh, mail from someone who watches the channel as well, Phil. Uh, so I will open that up as well. Uh, looking forward to that, put that over there. Because this is where it gets a little bit more hectic now. So other bits and pieces I picked up from the charity shop. So I said I was going to start picking up electronics. I have got some electronics. But before I get into that, I thought this was a steal. This was £1.50 uh, Disney frame. Pretty solid. Uh, £1.50. Really happy with that. Uh, you got the Disney mark there. And it's of all the Disney dogs. I'm really, I'm really, really happy with this. I uh, thought this is quality. So you've got like Lady in the Tramp. Uh, Oliver, uh, the dogs from Oliver, Pluto. Who actually got in there? It's mostly Oliver, 101 Dimensions. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm loving that. I think that's quality. And I think it sell on value for something like that. It's got to be about 30 to 40 pounds. So for one pound fifty, really happy with that. Uh, so I did pick that up. I weren't gonna leave that behind. They did have a Godzilla money box that now really I should have really picked up. It's from the movie from the 90s. They put a coin in and uh, Godzilla starts moving around making some crazy sounds. I left that, they wanted 15 pound for it, and that's the reason I left it. But when I got home and looked at what they usually sell for, what the value is, about 30 pounds. Uh, but 15 pound was a little bit too much, I think, to pick up, because I wasn't too sure. So I did leave that. Uh, another thing I picked up, so I took a bit of a gamble on this, a sealed game. Because uh, I'm always playing games at Christmas time. Christmas time, you know, everyone's always saying, got any games, bring them around. So I thought I'd buy this one. Uh, £3.50 sealed, very British problems, and we seem to have a lot of problems. Uh, so I picked that up, I thought that would be great fun. Now, other charity shop stuff, before I get onto the electrical, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else sitting around. There's just this bag now. So another game I picked up, and guys, I always pick up these games, I say it all the time, all these like adult-y kind of funny humour games. So I uh, picked up Selfish, Space Edition. This looks incredible. So I read the back here, I was like, I've got to have this. So it's about trying to survive in, uh, so you've got 20 minutes playtime, 
and it's surviving. And I think the I don't know if you've got to survive, or it's the card game where only the ruthless survive. So I don't know if you've got to take each other out. But I thought, I thought for yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. So I definitely pick this up. And just an idea, I paid three pound for everything that's in this bag, which included the game. So I was very uh, thankful that that happened. To be fair, because uh, I wasn't expecting that. Not one of my normal charity shops. Uh, but yes, and in terms of other bits and pieces I picked up from that charity shop, hell of a lot of box sets and CDs. CDs, the simple reason I picked up, so, didn't know too much, don't really carry my phone around with me that often, and people go, why haven't you got your phone on you? Kind of, the bad thing, this is going to sound bad, I, sometimes I leave it in the car, because I just don't know, I've left it in the glove compartment piece, or the little hand piece that lifts up. Or I just leave it at home because I'm literally only got an hour to get out and get to these places. So I end up just rushing to get out and leave it, and then I'm like, crap! Uh, but yeah, so I picked up Green Day because who doesn't love Green Day? Uh, triple discs, I think it is anyway. Absolutely no idea. I don't even know if it's. Is it even English? Yeah, it must be. Undustry. Don't know. I don't know anything about it. I only remember like Basket Case. Uh, soon find out when you check the back of it. Yeah, it looks like it's got everything on it, to be fair. Okay, so that looks right. So pick that up. It's all part of the. And then I thought, right, actually, I don't usually sing Quorn uh, CDs when I'm out. So I literally picked up. I don't know if this is the whole collection, guys. I don't even know how many CDs. I've got to do some uh, research. Literally picked up all the Quorn uh, CDs that were there. All of them that were there. Uh, so there's a lot there. Greatest hits, their albums. Literally picked up every single album that was there. Uh, some quality artwork on some of these as well, so I thought I'm having those. Uh, and I remember those pure 90s back there. Uh, and then picked up, because I do like, I do listen to a lot of music on my iPhone, etc. But London Grammar, I saw London Grammar there, and it's kind of something I just chill to when I'm working. So I brought that just to play during the week when I'm working, and I'm more than likely to just play that soon, uh, so that can stay over there. And then box set wise and DVD. So, took a punt on these, took a punt. Uh, I don't even know if they're worth anything. I don't even know if you bundle them up, would you get anything for? But reality TV was quite big as you're going into the late 2000s. And one of the ones that stood out for me, don't really see that often, is The Simple Life with uh, Paris and Nicole Ritchie. Uh, and I thought, right, actually, let me just take a little bit of They're part of the bloody deal for the whole bag. So I just threw them in there uh, to see. I need to do some research and I bet they're not worth anything. What I've done really well with in the past, the Live A box set so you don't see these that often uh so enough i've been lucky enough to have two now and they go for good money either in cex you get i think you get i want to say 20 pound trading you might get 20 pound trading and they sell online for about 20 to 30 uh but yeah everything's there it's a good box set if you ever see it pick it definitely pick it up and then another box that i do well on uh and this is going back last christmas uh, when i had a few of these the wire for some reason the wire i don't know because i don't know if it's on any uh like you know streaming service at the moment but the wire does bloody well as well you, you're going from anything from 15 to 30 quid for the wire uh, so i picked up the wire again and then just on the off chance all the loose cds again another full set of the wire so i got two wire sets and then this was random this was sitting there and this was like just with the dvds uh, i don't think there's great value in it but it's a blu-ray anyway i haven't seen it before i thought i'm gonna pick it up it hasn't, it's got a nice little display and this is why I said about Games of Thrones. Games of Thrones, season one and two on Blu-ray. Mostly some of the best seasons in my eyes. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'm going to pick that up. I'm not going to leave that behind, so I picked that up as well. And then lastly, these were just odds in the bottom of some basket. I picked up a sealed uh, cassette. And then I've never seen a sealed uh, mini disc. So I thought I'd just throw them in there as well. So I've got those. Uh, so they can all go back in there later. Uh, so in terms of electrical stuff, this is going to be bloody awkward to pull all this stuff out. So I might move the GoPro around, but I'll try and get some bits and show you guys what, what I've got now. So, oh, sorry. So I picked up a surround sound 3D, Sony 3D Blu-ray player. Uh, I paid, because these won't cheat, I paid 40 for this. So there's five mini speakers, a massive, massive, massive subwoofer. Uh, I don't want to get it all out, see. These are the little speakers that are with it. So you've got little speakers. The subwoofer is massive, and I will uh, show you guys. I'll bring the GoPro around, but this is the 3D Blu-ray player. So I've got that as well. I'm quite happy. Everything works. Been pack tested. Uh, so yeah, happy, very, very happy. It just going to my own collection. 
have it said yet, we're more than likely looking to move and get a bigger house. Uh, I might have said it on previous YouTube's uh, episodes to be fair, but that is something I will definitely put because I've always spoke about having like a little vintage kind of room just with a couch and some of the vintage tech. Uh, I know for, some people say 3D is not vintage, but you don't see it as much anymore. Uh, so I picked up that. I picked up an absolute brilliant uh, sound system uh, with LP. It's got everything on it. Uh, Pine is it Pioneer? Don't know if I'm saying that right, but I picked that up. That was so that was. I think I paid fifty pound for that, and I will bring the GoPro over and show you. However, the reason I paid the fifty was it come with a huge subwoofer and a soundbar, which they said is part of it. I did say to them in the shot, I said that's not part of it. It's a different make, and they said, well, it all comes as one if you want it. I was like hell yeah i'll definitely take it because of the make of the soundbar uh but that, i think that's the wolf of it isn't it so you got there you guys can see the brand hopefully uh but yeah it's massive and i think these mostly sell on their own for about 100 quid but again guys I'm, I'm keeping all this for myself uh this will just go into like some home kind of cinema bits and pieces but you've got the soundbar there as well I think it just needs a little bit of a dust, but everything's been pat tested, working, got all the wires, got all the remotes. So yeah, it's been a bloody good week for technology stuff. But I just bring the GoPro because it's getting full in here. Uh, I am having a clear out as we speak, uh, but yeah, you've got the sound bar, you've got, make sure I can see everything here. So you've got everything here. And then this is the uh, sound system. So you kind of got it here, but everything is there. All the wires are there. It's a brilliant little setup, to be fair. CDs, cassette, radio. Uh, oh, it, it's pretty amazing. Two original speakers as well, which uh, nothing wrong with. And then I've got the controls for... There you go. Yeah, that's better. So I've got the controls for everything here as well, which is always a plus. Uh, let's get this on there. There you go. So you got everything in here. Got the freak machine. Sorry, guys. Uh, mostly one of the worst things to buy because it takes up a hell of a lot of space. Uh, but it is what it is. I don't know if I've shown you guys this as well. I picked up this system. This is going uh, a while back as well. So I've got quite a few. I do like my old tech guys. Uh, and I got my record player and my little hustle neon light up there. Uh, but yeah, there's some decent. I've got some decent bits and pieces now. Uh, I just I do want a bigger place, but you can see now if we look behind everything, so much decent toys. There's my little light that causes me the little ring of death. Uh, but yeah, and then obviously this weekend the, it is to go for all of this, just to get it done, get bits and pieces done. But yes, <sighs> background. So yes, that is just a very quick whistle stop tour of some of the stuff that I've got. Uh, but yeah. I'm really happy with that tech stuff. I'm gonna got, got to clean it up. It is a bit dusty, but yeah, all in all. So just under a hundred pound for all that. Uh, if I was to sell it on, there's definitely gonna be value in it. I'm gonna keep it all. Uh, it's a decent sound bar and subwoofer there, uh, which definitely goes for a hundred on its own. Same with mostly the Sony piece. And I'm not too sure about the stack system. So that's uh, Hi-Fi. I'm not too sure what those ones go for. I have tried to look online, but I just can't make the difference of the models, etc. And I haven't looked at the actual model number yet uh, to check it out. But it's got to be, it's got to be in the hundreds, surely. It's a decent system. The LP sound bloody brilliant on there, and the speakers are top notch. I don't think it's mostly on the same par. Maybe I don't know the techniques that I've got, uh, but I love getting all this stuff. I've got so many CDs for my own collection, uh, DVDs, etc. That I love, kind of the whole tech multimedia thing. Uh, so yeah, that's it guys. That's it in a nutshell. It's a pretty long uh, charity shop video, but I picked up a hell of a lot this week. Uh, it looks like maybe the boot sales might be off this Sunday because uh, of the weather. I'm holding out because I think it's going to hold out. It's got 80% chance of rain. I'm holding out. A uh, new boot sale opens this weekend for me. It's my normal boot sale. It's two minutes away. Uh, so I will be going there uh, because they've sent me an email already to say they're going to be open. Obviously, we're still waiting. I'll still drive up there, even if the weather is bad, uh, because the, they were just messaging everyone about the social distancing, etc., and the two meter rule. Uh, but yeah, on that note, take care. Hopefully, see you again uh, Sunday when I drop a boot sale video. Uh, but until then, take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching. See you again shortly.